Geometry Dash is a game that costs $4 to play, or if you want to play the knockoff versions with ads, they are free. Geometry Dash has revolutionized since its release in 2013 going from update 1.0 to the current update 2.1. Although we have been waiting on update 2.2 for a whole 5 years, people are still very enthusiastic about it. Over the years, the game modes have evolved from just a ship and a cube to a wide variety of game modes. Such as the spider, the ball, the wave, dart, the robot, and the UFO. The game works by clicking your mouse, or using the spacebar. For mobile players, you just have to tap on the screen. For the cube, you tap to make it jump. For the ship, you need to click and hold to make it go up, but to make it fall down, don't hit anything. The UFO game mode is just the cube, but with hacks. Every time you click, it goes up. Except this time, you can do this an infinite number of times. Next is the robot. With the robot, the longer you hold you click, the higher you go. The wave works by going up diagonally when you click and hold, and going down when you release. The ball changes gravity every time you click, going up and down. The spider works by changing gravity, but this time, instantly. When you click, it seems like you teleport to the ceiling or the floor. Over time, the Geometry Dash level editor has advanced very much, and is most likely the very reason the game is still alive today. The editor went from some simple blocks and decorations, around 50 objects, to hundreds of customizable objects, triggers, presets, and more. Triggers in the editor are things that affect the objects, or even the level itself. Color triggers change the color of, pretty much anything. From the background of the level, the ground, the outlines of the objects, or even color groups, more about that later. The move trigger is everything that it sounds like. You input a group and set objects to that group, essentially making it able to be used with triggers. The move trigger, well, moves things. The move trigger has many features. The inputs are things like the x-axis, the y-axis, and even how it enters or exits. One of the most useful triggers, the start POS trigger, spawns you in where you place it. If you place it in the middle of the level, you would spawn in the middle of the level. Next is the pulse trigger. The pulse trigger is just the color trigger, but for a certain amount of time. You could make the background go from blue to orange, and then slowly make it turn back to blue. You can use the same for objects, the ground, and more. Next is the alpha trigger. All this trigger does is to change the object's opacity, transparency. Next is the shake trigger, which just shakes the screen. You can change the intensity of the shaking, too. There are a lot more triggers, which I cannot get into. The evolution of decoration in Geometry Dash has advanced and is advancing constantly. There used to be just blocks, but now there are boss fights, lots of extra detail, and levels so detailed you can't tell if you're in Geometry Dash anymore. The first update released seven levels. Stereo Madness, Back on Track, Poltergeist, Dry Out, Base After Base, Can't Let Go, and Jumper. Recent updates have given us new main levels, slowly introducing new game modes. Cycles introduced the ball game mode, Clutterfunk introduced the mirror portals, reversing your screen, with a cancerous transition, Blast Processing introduced the wave game mode, originally named Dart, Geometrical Dominator introduced the robot game mode, and finally, Finger Dash introduced the spider game mode. Hacking has been around for years and years now, and is being used to fake illegitimate completions. Like faking the verification of a level, pretending to beat a level, and much more. Sadly, we have seen many players that we thought were the best, hack. Take Cyclic and Xander for an example. When Cyclic beat Cataclysm, and verified Sonic Wave, nobody questioned him. It was only when he revealed to another top player at the time, Riot, who verified Bloodbath, and would go on to make revolutionary levels, that he was hacking. Xander, who verified the top one at the time, Zodiac, was exposed for speed hacking the level. One of the most prestigious creators in the early days of Geometry Dash, was the creator Funny Game. Funny Game is known for making many levels. For example, his level, Crazy Bolt, was the first level to actually have a genre, which of course, was Bolt's dot he would make many more revolutionary levels. The most popular insane difficulty level, Unity, a popular demon level, Death Moon, and La Campanella. A cool thing about La Campanella is that midway through the level, the decorations that look like music notes, actually sync with the music. Something mysterious with Death Moon though, was it was uploaded on a different account. Funny Game himself confirmed that he himself uploaded Death Moon on a different account called Corsatic. It is still unknown to everyone why he did this. In 2017, it was revealed his account was bought by someone named GeoGame, and that is where Funny Game's legacy ends. The demon list has been around for a long time, showing all of the hardest extreme demons. Many top ones have risen and fallen. Top ones like Stalemate Redux, Zodiac, Tartarus, Abyss of Darkness, and now Slaughterhouse. Silent Club Step was thought to be the new top one, because of its legendary legacy and difficulty, but it has been placed at number 4, angering and amusing the entire community. Many top players have also risen and fallen. Like NSWish, Technical, and SpaceX. All of these people have been the top players at one time period. The current top player, SpaceX, has an amazing backstory. His first demon was Decode, an easy demon, but his next demon was Windy Landscape, an insane demon. 
This would be an insane jump, but it wouldn't even be the biggest. Because his fifth demon, the top three at the time, was the golden. He hasn't uploaded for almost a month now, but he verified Slaughterhouse, current top one, and has been the first victor for many, many levels. Collaborations or mega collaborations are levels that are made by more than one person. The way these work is that you can get someone to build the level by splitting it up into parts, optional, and getting people to decorate it. This process is impossible without hacks, such as the custom object bypass. These collaborations take weeks, months, the demon difficulty was actually never introduced until someone made a level called Demon Park. This level was so hard and unique that Robtop, creator, decided to make the level its own difficulty, the difficulty we all know today, Demon. The first extreme demon, Cataclysm, is one of the most influential and popular levels today. Even though the creator and verifier of the level, GGB0Y, hacked the level, four people decided to beat it. Four people named Riot, Sandstorm, Jerome, and Cyclic beat this legendary level. Although we know now, that Cyclic hacked it. Riot would go on to beat and verify two more legendary levels. Ice Carbon Diablo X, and Bloodbath. Today, these three levels are known as the easiest of their difficulties, but they still implant their place in history. Before everyone knew about Cyclic's hacking, Cyclic went on to verify two more legendary levels. The Hell Zone, known to be hacked by someone in version 1.2, was redecorated and verified by Cyclic. He also created another top one at the time, being much harder than Bloodbath, Cyclic uploaded Sonic Wave. Sonic Wave had ridiculously small weight gaps and very hard spam, so many people questioned Cyclic about his legitimacy. Later it would be found out that Cyclic's verification video was cheat, which means to put multiple means and to put together, otherwise known as cheating. Cyclic's reasoning for this was that he had already beat it off camera, and did not want to beat it again, so he cut the video. Everyone knew Cyclic was a prestigious player, and did not question it at the time, until Cyclic revealed to Riot that he had hacked, and deleted all traces of him.